I had an organization, the National Council on Alcoholism and Drug Dependence, that was founded by the first woman to achieve long-term sobriety and Alcoholics Anonymous. And when she was the poster child in the 30s and 40s, because there were no women involved in, in I mean, it was, out, her name was Marty Mann. And, and so she went around the country to try to help people understand and educate and provide information. Um, women, we are assigned to a different status in life in general. Workplace, we, we have roles that are defined. And if we want to step out of those roles or do something different, then we are barraged with all kinds of criticism. Um, as I said, when I, when I first, when I went into detox in 76, there was no detox boards for women. So there was, again, this, this lack of availability of services because women don't drink. Um, or, and then the, the, the names that go with it, whatever, slut, whore, prostitute, how one does then, it's demeaning, and it's, it's how women are seen. As women have, as we have sort of been involved in the workplace, I'm not sure a lot of that has changed. I think it changed because there are laws that protect us. <laughs> but internally, in terms of acceptance, in terms of accountability, I just don't think it exists. Um, again, it's, it's the shame attached to it that I think prevents some women from reaching out for help. Um, there's a lot more... There are a lot more detox wars, you know, programs that are very much women-centered, programs that are for women only. It's just, again, the shame attached to it and being able to reach out for that. The, the shame thing is we, we minimize it, but it's extraordinary in how we conduct our lives in, in, in a variety of ways. And it, it becomes that um, barrier that, that limits us from reaching out um, and, and, and finding help.